In one month, tens of thousands of students will return to Columbus City Schools classrooms. Transportation, of course, a top priority. And right now, the district is rounding out a month-long recruiting process for bus drivers. NBC4's Karina Chung joins us now live with a look at how those efforts are panning out. Karina? Jen, while those efforts are still underway for hiring and training new bus drivers for Columbus City Schools. Now, I did catch up with the transportation operations manager, and she says she feels pretty good about busing kids for the start of the school year. A month long bus driver recruitment fair is coming to an end with the first day of school less than a month away. So we're looking at about 600 drivers to start, which will is a good start for Columbus in, in, in what our needs are currently. Michelle Brooks is the transportation operations manager for Columbus City Schools. She says through the fair, they've been able to hire and fully train 40 new drivers. We would love to see an additional 50 get in here and apply, um, get interviewed and go through the process. Total, we're looking at about 130. One of the newest recruits is actually Michelle's own daughter. Ryan will be behind the wheel for her first year as a bus driver. So I'm just doing ride alongs, riding with the um, kids that are on the bus, um, helping out the driver, driving when there isn't kids on the bus until, you know, boarding comes. She has passed all her tests and is ready to go. This is what she had to say about the training process. It, it might seem hard at first, but once you, it's like muscle memory. Once you start to learn and understand, you have trainers to help you. Um, so I advise everyone to come and do it. If it's something you've thought about, come do it. Michelle says recruitment will continue into the school year and beyond. She'd like to see the bus driver pull closer to where it was pre-pandemic, around 700 drivers. Even though the job fair is technically ending on Friday, um, we will still remain open. Anyone that wants to come in, we will not turn anyone away. Michelle does want to remind parents that if they have kids that are in grades 9 through 12 and are transportation eligible, you do have to opt into busing this year. Now tonight at 6 o'clock, bus drivers aren't the only need. I'll have more on that then. Local for you in Columbus, I'm Karina Chung, NBC4.